Alzheimer's Prevention Strategies According to Dr. David Perlmutter, a neurologist and author of Grain Brain and Brain Maker, anything that promotes insulin resistance will ultimately also raise your risk of Alzheimer's. To this I would add that any strategy that enhances your mitochondrial function will lower your risk. In 2014, Bredesen published a paper that demonstrates the power of lifestyle choices for the prevention and treatment of Alzheimer's. By leveraging 36 healthy lifestyle parameters, he was able to reverse Alzheimer's in 9 out of 10 patients. This included the use of exercise, ketogenic diet, optimizing vitamin D and other hormones, increasing sleep, meditation, detoxification and eliminating gluten and processed food. You can download Bradison's full text case paper online, which details the full program following are some of the lifestyle strategies I believe to be the most helpful and important. Eat real food, ideally organic. Avoid processed foods of all kinds, as they contain a number of ingredients harmful to your brain, including refined sugar. Processed fructose, grains, particularly gluten, vegetable oils, genetically engineered ingredients and pesticides. Ideally, keep your added sugar to a minimum and your total fructose below 25 grams per day. Or as low as 15 grams per day if you already have insulin slash leptin resistance or any related disorders. Opting for organic produce will help you avoid synthetic pesticides and herbicides. Most will also benefit from a gluten-free diet, as gluten makes your gut more permeable, which allows proteins to get into your bloodstream where they sensitize your immune system and promote inflammation and autoimmunity, both of which play a role in the development of Alzheimer's. Replace refined carbs with healthy fats? Diet is paramount, and the beauty of following my optimized nutrition plan is that it helps prevent and treat virtually all chronic degenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's. It's important to realize that your brain actually does not need carbs and sugars, Healthy fats such as saturated animal fats and animal-based omega-3 are far more critical for optimal brain function. A cyclical ketogenic diet has the double advantage of both improving your insulin sensitivity and lowering your Alzheimer's risk. As noted by Perlmutter, lifestyle strategies such as a ketogenic diet can even offset the risk associated with genetic predisposition. When your body burns fat as its primary fuel, ketones are created which not only burn very efficiently and are a superior fuel for your brain, but also generate fewer reactive oxygen species and less free radical damage. A ketone called beta-hydroxybutyrate is also a major epigenetic player, stimulating beneficial changes in DNA expression, thereby reducing inflammation and increasing detoxification and antioxidant production. In it, I also explain why cycling through stages of feast and famine, opposed to continuously remaining in nutritional ketosis, is so important. Pay close attention to the kinds of fats you eat avoid all trans fats or hydrogenated fats that have been modified in such a way to extend their longevity on the grocery store shelf. This includes margarine, vegetable oils and various butter-like spreads. Healthy fats to add to your diet include avocados, butter, organic pastured egg yolks, coconuts and coconut oil, grass-fed meats and raw nuts such as pecans and macadamia. MCT oil is also a great source of ketone bodies. Keep your fasting insulin levels below 3. Lowering your insulin will also help lower leptin levels, which is another factor for Alzheimer's. If your insulin is high, you're likely consuming too much sugar and need to cut back. Optimize your omega-3 level. High intake of the omega-3 fat CPA and DHA help prevent cell damage caused by Alzheimer's disease, thereby slowing its progression and lowering your risk of developing the disorder. Ideally, get an omega-3 index test done once a year to make sure you're in a healthy range. Your omega-3 index should be above 8% and your omega-6 to 3 ratio between 0.5 and 3.0. Eat plenty of nitrate-rich foods. Beets and other nitrate-rich foods such as arugula provide powerful benefits for your brain and may be a powerful ally in the fight against Alzheimer's disease. Your body transforms plant-based nitrates into nitric oxide, which enhances oxygenation, has beneficial impacts on your circulatory and immune systems, and serves as a signaling or messenger molecule in every cell of your body. The betanine in beets also helps prevent oxidation, 
particularly oxidation caused when the beta amyloid is bound to copper. As noted by co-author Daryl Cole Tirado, 21 we can't say that betanine stops the misfolding of amyloid beta completely, but we can say that it reduces oxidation. Less oxidation could prevent misfolding to a certain degree, perhaps even to the point that it slows the aggregation of beta amyloid peptides. Previous research has also shown raw beet juice helps improve neuroplasticity, primarily by increasing blood flow and tissue oxygenation. Nitric oxide, in its capacity as a signaling molecule, allows your brain cells to communicate with each other better. Importantly, the beets boosted oxygenation of the somatomotor cortex, a brain area that is often affected in the early stages of dementia. Optimize your gut flora. To do this, avoid processed foods, antibiotics and antibacterial products, fluoridated and chlorinated water. And be sure to eat traditionally fermented and cultured foods, along with a high-quality probiotic if needed. Dr. Stephen Gundry does an excellent job of expanding on this in his book The Plant Paradox. Intermittently Fast Intermittent fasting is a powerful tool to start your body into remembering how to burn fat and repair the insulin-slash-leptin resistance that is a primary contributing factor for Alzheimer's. Once you have worked your way up to where you've been doing 20-hour daily intermittent fasting for a month, are metabolically flexible and can burn fat as your primary fuel, you can progress to the far more powerful 5-day water fasts. Move regularly and consistently throughout the day. It's been suggested that exercise can trigger a change in the way the amyloid precursor protein is metabolized, thus, slowing down the onset and progression of Alzheimer's. Exercise also increases levels of the protein PGC1-alpha. Research has shown that people with Alzheimer's have less PGC1-alpha in their brains. And cells that contain more of the protein produce less of the toxic amyloid protein associated with Alzheimer's. Optimize your magnesium levels. Preliminary research strongly suggests a decrease in Alzheimer symptoms with increased levels of magnesium in the brain. Keep in mind that the only magnesium supplement that appears to be able to cross the blood-brain barrier is magnesium 3 and 8. Optimize your vitamin D, ideally through sensible sun exposure. Sufficient vitamin D is imperative for proper functioning of your immune system to combat inflammation associated with Alzheimer's and, indeed, research shows people living in northern latitudes have higher rates of death from dementia and Alzheimer's than those living in sunnier areas. Suggesting vitamin D and or sun exposure are important factors. If you are unable to get sufficient amounts of sun exposure, take daily supplemental vitamin D3 to reach and maintain a blood level of 60 to 80 nanograms slash ml. That said, it's important to recognize that sun exposure is important for reasons unrelated to vitamin D. Your brain responds to the near-infrared light and sunlight in a process called photobiomodulation. Research shows near-infrared stimulation of the brain boosts cognition and reduces symptoms of Alzheimer's, including more advanced stages of the disease. Delivering near-infrared light to the compromised mitochondria synthesizes gene transcription factors that trigger cellular repair. And your brain is one of the most mitochondrial dense organs in your body. Vitamin B12 According to a 2010 study published in the journal Neurology, People who consume foods rich in B12 may reduce their risk of Alzheimer's in their later years. For each unit increase in halotranscobalamin, the marker of vitamin B12, the risk of developing Alzheimer's was reduced by 2%. Very high doses of B vitamins have also been found to reduce memory loss by preventing brain shrinkage. Curcumin Recent research shows curcumin supplementation helped improve memory and focus in seniors already suffering mild memory lapses and reduced amyloid and tau deposits associated with Alzheimer's. Overall, the curcumin group improved their memory by 28% over the year and a half long treatment period. PET scans also confirmed the treatment group had significantly less amyloid and tau buildup in areas of the brain that control memory, compared to controls. Curcumin has also been shown to increase levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF and reduced levels of BDNF have been linked to Alzheimer's disease. Yet another way curcumin may benefit your brain and lower your risk of dementia is by affecting pathways that help reverse insulin resistance, hyperlipidemia and other symptoms associated with metabolic syndrome and obesity. Avoid and eliminate mercury from your body. Dental amalgam fillings are one of the major sources of heavy metal toxicity. 
However you should be healthy prior to having them removed. Once you have adjusted to following the diet described in my optimized nutrition plan, you can follow the mercury detox protocol and then find a biological dentist to have your amalgams removed. Avoid and eliminate aluminum from your body. Common sources of aluminum include antiperspirants, non-stick cookware and vaccine adjuvants. For tips on how to detox aluminum, please see article, first case study to show direct link between Alzheimer's and aluminum toxicity. There is some suggestion that certain mineral waters high in silicic acid may help your body eliminate aluminum. Avoid flu vaccinations. Most flu vaccines contain both mercury and aluminum. Avoid statins and anticholinergic drugs. Drugs that block acetylcholine, a nervous system neurotransmitter, have been shown to increase your risk of dementia. These drugs include certain nighttime pain relievers, antihistamines, sleep aids, certain antidepressants, medications to control incontinence and certain narcotic pain relievers. Statin drugs are particularly problematic because they suppress the synthesis of cholesterol. Deplete your brain of coenzyme Q10, vitamin K2 and neurotransmitter precursors. And prevent adequate delivery of essential fatty acids and fat-soluble antioxidants to your brain. By inhibiting the production of the indispensable carrier biomolecule known as low-density lipoprotein. Limit your exposure to dangerous EMFs, cell phones, Wi-Fi routers and modems. Radiation from cell phones and other wireless technologies trigger excessive production of peroxynitrites, a highly damaging reactive nitrogen species. Increased peroxynitrites from cell phone exposure will damage your mitochondria. And your brain is the most mitochondrial dense organ in your body. Increased peroxynitrite generation has also been associated with increased levels of systemic inflammation. By triggering cytokine storms and autonomic hormonal dysfunction, Optimize your sleep. Sleep is necessary for maintaining metabolic homeostasis in your brain. Without sufficient sleep, neuron degeneration sets in, and catching up on sleep during weekends will not prevent this damage. Sleep deprivation causes disruption of certain synaptic connections that can impair your brain's ability for learning, memory formation and other cognitive functions. Poor sleep also accelerates the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Most adults need 7 to 9 hours of uninterrupted sleep each night. Deep sleep is the most important, as this is when your brain's glymphatic system performs its clean-out functions. Eliminating toxic waste from your brain, including amyloid beta. Challenge your mind daily. Mental stimulation, especially learning something new, such as learning to play an instrument or a new language, is associated with a decreased risk of dementia and Alzheimer's. Researchers suspect that mental challenge helps to build up your brain, making it less susceptible to the lesions associated with Alzheimer's disease.